Man, there is something kind of beautiful about refactoring code. Um, I have this app that I've been selling on high level, and it's been working pretty well, making decent money. Um, but I'm going to be creating basically a new version, adding a bunch of features, um, making it better, and changing how I build, changing a lot of shit. And uh, yeah, I'm just kind of excited to dive into this and um, really get it working. Um, and yeah, so with refactoring, there's so much stuff that like this crazy thing happened yesterday where I basically tried to install my app and it's a fake loading bar. So it got to 99%. And if it doesn't go to a hundred, it failed basically. And it never went to a hundred and it was just loading and loading. I was like, fuck, what is going on? And I go to look at the task and trigger that dev and I can't figure out why it's broken. And this morning I try it and it works. That's fucked up. That's like the worst thing you can find in software basically is where you try something once and it doesn't work and then the next time it works because you don't know why it didn't work the first time and it's probably going to keep not working over time so yeah i mean it, basically any code base is kind of a liability and the more you can actually um simplify the better and so what i've been doing it with kind of rebuilding this code base is really focusing on simplifying things on making things more robust because I don't want to sit here and fucking handle errors and fix shit all day and be stressed about whether, you know, my app is working or not. Um, so I added, like I used to just have basically a pushover notification whenever, um, my task would, or whenever I would get a payment but I'm taking all my payment logic out. I'm outsourcing that to the platform because that's going to make it way easier. And I'm just going to literally like, I'm going to notify myself whenever an installation is complete. So if we come back here, we have the bugle if it completes. Because obviously that's a triumph to have this code run fucking properly. And then if it doesn't work, then we have, wait, which one is it? On failure. If this fails, then we have game, Gamma Lion. It's just like a notification. It's like, yo, fucking, you suck, dude. Um, so yeah, I posted a video the other day about, actually, let's, let's pull this up. Um, I was basically talking about how I got another quick video Stripe. and it was actually more kind of a problem with Superbase, but I don't know what the problem was. Obviously it was my fault. And the comments, I just got shit on, dude. It's so funny. Like, if we go to the uh, uh, like to dislike ratio, it's crazy, bro. Um, how do we find that? So, <laughs> so the average for my videos is 92% of people hit like and then 8% dislike. With this one, 40% almost of people disliked it. And, yeah, I just thought that was really funny. Um... Because there's a lot of software engineers who are just like super fucking anal about how they write code. And they're like, bro, you suck, basically. And this is not what I wanted to uh, look at. I got fucked by Stripe. Make too many videos, man. They're just popping up. Um, but yeah, dude, it was so funny. There was this one guy who said, <laughs> your problem is you're not, <coughs> you're not paying enough attention. Blah, blah, blah. You're screwing yourself. And then I was like, how much does your side project make? And then basically he just got pissed and he was like, um, that doesn't justify par careless programming. And I don't know. I, I used to think it does. I used to think like, um, <laughs> damn, my comment got zero likes and his got six, dude. Oh, I'm getting shit on. But yeah, like I used to think that, yeah, dude, fuck it. Just get it out there. Just ship it. But honestly, like, as I build more stuff and as I, you know, have clients and build more apps, that's basically more and more overhead where if I want to, like, there's, you know, many given mornings where I'll wake up, go to my computer, I've got a plan for the day and the morning. And then as soon as I log on, I see someone says, hey, this isn't working. And I check and it's broken. And I got to spend the next one or two hours 
debugging and fixing this problem. And I don't want to have to do that. You know, the more that happens, the more I have to, you know, basically check in on my apps and make sure that everything's working and didn't break overnight. And yeah, that's just not good for productivity, you know? So I think there is really a strength in writing robust apps. And that kind of brings me on to my main point of this video, which is building a super robust app is not the most fun part. You know, I think building an app in the first place is the most fun part. You get to start from scratch, you provisioning your database and getting everything set up and, you know, think about all the potential. But once you have to go back into your code base and understand what your code did and try to fix the problems, you're probably going to get fucked, especially if you don't think about future you when you're, when you're building. So yeah, I mean, like refactoring isn't the most fun thing, but I think it is actually like one of the more important things that you can do, you know, is to figure out like, okay, how do I make this as robust and reliable as possible so that I can ship this and then move on to the next thing rather than spending the rest of my life fucking maintaining this code base because it's so shittily writ written. So yeah, I mean, that's basically the whole video. I'm, uh, I don't know, dude, this Thanksgiving week is just kind of crazy. So I can't really focus that well, but, um, got some cool video ideas coming out soon. So thanks for watching.